I also wanted to talk to you, man. You, you know, you're you're running around with um, you got bears, wolves, mountain lions, you know, lots of reasons to carry a sidearm when hunting. And no matter what part of the country you're in, you know, I don't think it's a bad idea to have a sidearm. So, um, you know, you, you have a military background, you're a gun guy. I'm, I'm always curious to hear what people choose uh, for, for their side. What What's your sidearm of choice when elk hunting? Okay, so for me personally, this is, again, I'm going to answer this as honest as I can. And in my opinion, I think that a sidearm is a comfort item. It's a luxury item. If no matter what you have or how big it is, if you aren't proficient with you, it's literally just there as a confidence booster. I want that to be a side note. There, I haven't had to draw my sidearm on an animal yet, thankfully. But in this situation that that happens, if I never shoot my sidearm, whatever caliber, whatever model, whoever makes it, it's not going to be relevant because at that time I'm under pressure, I'm probably not going to make a good judgment call, let alone maybe be able to get it out of the holster fast enough to be efficient. So on that note, when it comes to that, I'm a big fan of, I used to carry a 45. I still do sometimes. And I kind of like, I really like the 10 millimeter round also. It's kind of just a do it all great gun, but affordability for an average guy, which is a lot of what I've been testing. If you're just a normal dude with a smaller budget, I have found the nine millimeter is a more practical, like less expensive route. And I'm sure some people will disagree, but you can find nine millimeter ammo anywhere. And it's a lot less expensive than 10 millimeter or even 45. So I think it's really important to note when you're getting into the sidearm stuff that you need to be proficient, which takes practice yep. and it takes time, trigger time. So, and you have to, like, don't just read it in an article and say that this is for me because the biggest thing that you're going to get out of having this weapon on your side, or I get out of it anyway, is just a confidence in knowing maybe I'm not alone. You know what I mean? So that being said, sorry guys for the flip. No, you're good. Uh, I do some work with Springfield. I ran this. This is the brand new. Hellcat. Hey, Jonathan, you, you cut so out on me. Is. You cut out on me. Can you start over on that? You said, I heard I've done some work for and then, and then it glitched where you flipped. Just go ahead and start yeah, that no answer problem. over. So I've done some work for Springfield Armory. And so what I'm using this year is this is their new Hellcat. Okay. This is the X. This is Springfield Armory's Hellcat. It's a nine millimeter. It's a micro compact. And this particular gun is 13 plus one in the chamber so and it comes in i mean you guys can see this and for reference it's yay big on me i mean it's literally two by four inches this thing is tiny but it still has up to 14 rounds you can carry in a single clip now i like this because it, it's small and it barks but it, it's rather invisible in my kit so if I don't want to run it in the holster, which right here I'm running an ivory holster on my pack, okay, just to show you this thing, it goes to nothing. Mm -hmm. Like it's nothing. It don't get caught on branches. It's not big and bulky. It don't weigh hardly nothing. And that's why I run that one. But for the guys that are asking, like, how do you make your selection or whatever, excuse me, I mean, look at this for size on the pack, okay? But if I want to drop my pack and I want to go just my bino harness or whatever, and I have a big bulky pistol, I can't just stuff it in my pocket or whatever. I would need another holster. I'm going to leave it. With this, I can literally stick it back behind my binos or in my side pocket or in my back pocket where my wallet would go. It is that small that I'm able to do that, okay? Um, there's other options like an XDM and xdm elite they're a larger capacity version uh, i mean it's not the same model as the hellcat but it's a nine millimeter with 20 plus one and you know i think the other one is my 45 version of it, it's 13 also so it, it's really a preference thing but i'm a big fan of springfields because they're tried and true in the field lots and lots of other options sig makes some great weapons um everybody likes glock there's h and k i mean it, that is literally just a preference thing. Yeah, man. I it's funny. I um some people would probably give me 
uh, grief for carrying the baby Glock, but I carry it for all the same reasons you're using the Hellcat. I've heard great things about the Hellcat. Uh, I know it gets great reviews. It, they're in demand right now. They're almost hard to find, but the which a lot, a lot of ammunition and firearms are hard to find right now. But uh, for the same reasons, I I choose to use my my baby Glock for the same reasons. Get get more rounds. I have it's it's compact. Uh, hardly know it's there yet. I know where it is at all times, which I think is important. And I'm more comfortable. So I, I just like shooting that gun, and I think that goes really uh, back to it. I'm I'm that is the most accurate pistol that I have and for me for me personally it doesn't mean the other ones aren't even accurate it's just that I shoot the best with that gun I feel I have the most confidence with that gun I know that gun the best and I do think that comes down to everything when you're hunting I mean if you're carrying the big 45 and you're not comfortable shooting it then it, with under dur uh, the duration of stress do you think you're going to be any more accurate right <laughs> yeah well I mean that's so what it comes down for for me when I was testing some of this stuff is Oh, Brad, is it really comes down to, I was trying to test stuff that's more affordable to guys that were in a position I was just a year and a half ago. And that's like, what's something I can do that's realistic. And you know, that's kind of a big deal. And when it comes to, if you're going to shoot a bunch throughout the year, or try to get proficient, yeah. maybe a 10 millimeter is not the best option. It right. is a great option. And that's probably my favorite option. But if you're just a normal dude that only got so much time and only has so much money a year, that nine millimeter round is a rather affordable price point and it's the confidence again. I mean, yeah. it works. If you shoot some something in the right spot, it will do its job. Uh, maybe not as efficiently or with as big of a hole, but <laughs> Hey, you know what? At least you have something. I mean, I would argue if a bear wants to get a hold of you, it's probably going to get a hold of you, you know, yeah. unfortunately, but yep. at least you can be confident or at least fake confident when you're out there, <laughs> that you have something to stop something. You know? Yeah, dude, dude, awesome, awesome rundown on uh, a couple pieces of your your backcountry hunting for elk season. Yeah,